This is another example of probability distributions, but this time we're going to be asked different types of questions. So it says the accompanying table describes the random variable X, which is the number of adults in groups of five who reported sleepwalking. Complete parts A through D below. Okay, so first problem, it says find the probability of getting exactly four sleepwalkers among five adults. So let's go ahead and click on this icon. Now it gives us the probability distribution. So probability of getting exactly four sleepwalkers. So we're going to go to our random variable X. We're going to go down to where it says four. So the probability of getting four sleepwalkers among five adults would be 0 0.021. So we have 0 0.021. So that was given to us in this probability distribution. We're just reading this table. Now it says find the probability of getting four or more among five adults. So now it says four or more. So that means getting exactly four or getting exactly five. So what I have to do here is I have to add these two probabilities with each other. I have to add the probability of getting exactly four and the probability of getting exactly five. So if I add those two with each other, that gives me 0 0.022. 0 0.022. So that would be the probability of getting four or more sleepwalkers among five adults. Okay, so now it's asking us, so I don't need this table anymore, which probability is relevant for determining whether four is a significantly high number of sleepwalkers among five adults? The result from part A or from part B? Now, for this one, this would be the result from part B. And the reason why is because it's a more extreme result. Getting four or more would be considered a more extreme result than just getting exactly four. Because getting five sleepwalkers, five sleepwalkers, that would be pretty extreme. So the probability for determining whether four is a significantly high number, we actually have to take a look at whether getting four, exactly four or five. So four or more. So let's take a look at which one that would be. So since the probability of getting four or more sleepwalkers is the probability of the given or more extreme result. So that would be answer choice A. Okay, and now it's saying, is four a significantly high number of four sleepwalkers among five adults? Why or why not? Use 0 0.05 as the threshold for a significant event. Well, since the probability of getting four or more sleepwalkers is 0 0.022, which is less than 0 0.05, that would be considered a significantly high number of sleepwalkers. So this would be yes, since the appropriate probability is less than 0 0.05.